I want to show you how you can very easily make a door in VR using absolutely no code and the XR Interaction Toolkit. Let's dive right in. If you're like me and love everything to do with gaming, game development and new technologies, then check out my channel. I've got dozens of videos on how to create your own games and the latest in tech. And if you like what you see, why not consider a subscription? Thanks very much and enjoy the video. So I've got a scene here with a door in it. Um, very, very basic. I'll show you the door. Uh, it's literally just some boxes. Uh, that are all kind of cobbled together for the frame and then you've got the main door here which is a box and uh, with a handle on the inside let me show you it running and we'll see how it's working very very simple i like things i like keeping it simple because it means less can go wrong often there we are whoa there we are so here's our door hopefully you can see that okay and then i can reach out with my hand which is just a ball at the minute um and i can grab the door and i can open Close it, open, close. It won't go all the way because most doors don't go both directions. But you can configure that if you want to. Uh, and then obviously if you want to like open it a bit more, you can let it go and it will shut. And if you want to slam the door out of anger, you can do that too. But there's no code involved in this uh, and it's a really easy setup uh, and a nice little thing for your games to make it feel a little bit more realistic and immersive. This will also work on like a wardrobe or cupboard doors in a kitchen, stuff like that. Trap doors to a basement. You, you get the idea. Let me show you how it all works and uh, you can see how easy it is. All right, so let's take a quick look. We've got what we got going on. We got it, we're using the XR Interaction Toolkit, which I've got videos on my channel which you can watch, which tells you how to integrate that into Unity. And we're using the new input system, so we've got the samples that are imported along with that XR Interaction Toolkit as well. And I've gone ahead and made a very, very small scene where I've got my door, made up some boxes for the frames, you can see here, and also a door which has got a rigid body on it. Uh, and a hinge joint and this is what's kind of driving all of that but let me let's go ahead and do this together uh, and then you can follow along and learn how to put it together yourself here we are back in our scene you can see i'm not going to show you how to lay out the door it literally is just cubes which i'm all moved into position and you can see how i've done that there so i've got frame top side and that's it and then the door i've got is just one big box but inside that box, I've also got the, another box for a tiny little hand for the tiny little handle. I was having some fun with the boxes. So from here, we're going to leverage the power of physics and the hinge joint. And that's what we're going to use to open our door. Now at the moment, this is all standard stuff. When you make this box, this is what you get on it. We're going to go ahead and we're going to add the hinge joint. Like so, and it's going to put in a rigid body for us and also a hinge joint component. We're going to need to set up this hinge joint so it's in the right place. If you click on here, you'll see at the moment the hinge is all the way at the top. So it'll open like a cat flap, which might be quite cool. Um, but we're going to go ahead and move it down to the side. So to do that, we're going to change its axis, not on the X. And we're going to change it to the Y. And you can see it's put it round like so. And then we want to move this into position so it's down at the bottom. So I'm going to zero, put zero in my Y position. So it's kind of put it in the middle of the door, you can see there. And we're just going to bump it along a bit to the side. So we're going to use the X slide, uh, the X value here in the anchor, put in a 0.5 for me, and it's going to put it right on the edge of the door where it's going to open. Now at the moment, it, this, this disc is kind of showing you a visual of how when we open this door how far that hinge can spin we don't want it to spin all the way around so what we can do is go on the motor we can see we've got the use limits so we'll tick that box on the motor here you see we've got another selection we can make called use limits so we'll go ahead and tick that and you see we've got these little handles we can drag in the scene and you can see the values are changing here so this is the amount of rotation our door will have it'll go from here to here like a 90 degree angle we can set that in the inspector as well. If you wanted the door to go both ways, you then you would just bring that minimum value down too. But my door is going to be just like your normal door, which will open one way. Uh, and it's 
going to be using the min value of zero and a max value of 90. Cool, so that's that kind of set up. What we do need to do is be able to allow the user to grab the door handle. So what we can do on our root of our door, we're going to add in a new component and this is going to be the XR grab interactable. And we want to specify, the, the, at the moment, you'd be able to grab the door anywhere, but we only want to grab it on the handle. So we can use this collider section of the XR grab interactable, hit the plus, drag in our handle element, which is just a box with a collider on it, like so. So that's, a, that's what's going to activate the grab. We're going to change the movement type to velocity tracking, so it maintains the speed of our hand when we let go. We don't want it really to track the rotation. We don't need that. We're not going to be throwing on detach so we can uncheck that box. And what's quite nice about this is that we can give the door a little bit of weight. At the moment, if we were to open it, it would like kind of ping open right really quickly and just move around as if it was made of paper. Um, but you can give it a bit of drag. And through experimentation, I found that a value of five is quite a good value for when you let go of the door and it just kind of slowly comes to a stop. And that is literally it for the door. So let's dive right into VR and see if this is all now working again. And I've got my slide here and you can see I can open and close my door again. I'll take a step back if you will wreck the room. You can see now I can open the door and it's using that hinge joint uh, to control the door. Nice. And that, all that's literally doing is using the XR grab interactable and a hinge joint on the door. And, and we've got doors. Awesome. There are a little few tips and tricks, top tips, if you've stayed along to the end of this video. What I've actually done is I've created some layers because by default, when you make stuff, it'll all be on the same layer. Our, we have colliders on all of our objects. The physics, when all the colliders are set to the same layer, uh, the door goes a bit jerky and you can see it kind of like popping around on the hinge and it looks a bit weird. Um, but you can actually use the layer system within Unity to control that. So what I've done here is I've got, I created two layers. I've got an interactable layer and a non-interactable layer. And as you can see, my frame, you're not going to interact with this in any way. This is set to a non-interactable layer. It still has a collider on, but it's set to non-interactable. My door is interactable, so I've put that on the interactable layer. And then using the physics section under the project settings, I've disabled a collision between the interactable and the non-interactable layers. So my door is never really going to collide with the frame around it. And therefore you get a nice smooth motion to your door. That's a very simple little tutorial for you. Really hope you enjoyed it and you can see how you can possibly use some of this interaction for your own games. And don't forget, as always, this project is going to be available from my Patreon page where you can download it and have a play around with it yourself. But take care and I'll see you in the next one.